Welcome to a musical journey of Alsace. Situated in the eastern part of France, this unique region is a light-hearted land full of history, flower-decked villages, half-timbered houses, ancient churches and castles, and much, much more. Won't you join us for a musical journey of Alsace? Alsace, one of the most important grape and wine producing sections of France, once a year holds musical festivals in the various villages throughout the region. People in costume as well as visitors from around the world come to celebrate the joys of the land.
Bowman was one of the best known composers of the French Romantic style of writing. His most famous composition is his Gothic Suite with the Great Toccata. However, today from the St. Martin's Church in Colmar, we hear his very playful and joyful Ronde Francais. Strasbourg, the largest and leading city of Alsace, is a city of unique beauty, both old and new. In the heart of the city is the Allstadt, the old town, where we find half-timbered houses and flower-laden buildings. It is also a very musical city, with its philharmonic orchestra, its yearly music festival, and local music on the streets. But the grandest music comes from the great organ of the awesome and majestic cathedral.
One of the most famous, if not the most famous, astronomical clocks in the world is found in the Strasbourg Cathedral. This amazing clock dates back to the 1500s. It has been restored many times, and the present clock dates from 1842. The lower dials indicate the months of the year, the date, sun time, a liturgical calendar, and main holidays. From six in the morning to six at night, a skeleton surveys the ages of man, and when the ages have passed, death strikes the hour. At noon every day, the twelve apostles walk past the statue of Christ three times, and the rooster atop the clock crows three times. The amazing organ of the Strasbourg Cathedral has a long history. Its oldest parts date from 1385. Known as the Swallow's Nest Organ, it is perched high on a wall on the side of the cathedral. The original organ had three manuals and 2,136 pipes. In 1714, Andreas Silbermann built a new instrument with the case we see today. Although the organ has known changes and been damaged in the 1800s, it was completely rebuilt by the Alfred Kern Organ Company in 1980 and remains one of the most spectacular organs in the world.
From music of the great cathedrals to folk music in small villages and towns, the Alsace region is filled with the sounds of music. Everyone enjoys the local color in both sight and sound. Famous people were born in Alsace, and two of the best known are sculptor Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, the designer of the Statue of Liberty. The other is Albert Schweitzer, who was a great authority on Bach and an organist. He played many of the organs in Alsace, including the Cathedral of Strasbourg and the St. Martin's Church in Colmar. Behind me stands the ruins of an old Alsatian castle. All through the Alsatian countryside, we find little walled towers tucked away at the foot of the mountains. Such picturesque sites as bell towers, welcoming inns, and mysterious castles. In the middle of every town and village, we also find the spire of an old and picturesque church reminding us of the many hundreds of years of history and of faith of the people who built these monuments to the living God. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come.
Today we have taken you on a musical journey of Alsace. Beautiful landscapes, towns and villages, historic monuments and ancient churches. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <laughs>